Today, I am going to be putting a plastic tarp on this PVC frame that I got built to build my DIY wall. Gotta get one of these dehumidifiers. I think I gotta get this thing too. Got a couple of essentials. Let's get out of here. Shout out to Menards. Really fit. I have been working on the fish room for about a month now. Kind of close to being done. Last time I showed you guys a female guppy inside a bowl. She did give birth. Let me show you guys the female guppy and the fry. This tank here, it is not oxygenated because the fish room, I turned all the pump off. There is about 20 baby guppies in here. Uh, they are doing really good. They were born on the 19th. Today is the 31st. For the size, I am happy of what they are. They are growing pretty fast. They're doing pretty good. I have a bunch of package wipes over here that I will be opening soon. I already opened this one. And then over here, let's use it. I can look. And then we have a beautiful green. Pretty nice. They're like 10 bucks. Absolutely crank my phone. So, these are the sponge filters that I have been using. Other than that, I got a bunch of stuff as you guys can see to add on to the fish room been trying to edit this thing it's just been all over the place if you guys have not guessed it already yes i am starting a guppy farm in my basement i think i'm crazy i'm a qc about to make a couple purchases Okay, the video has been all over the place. I'm sorry. Yesterday, I stopped by QC and I picked up three new strain of guppy to add to the fish farm. Uh, they are doing great. I'll do an update on them on another video just to make sure that they are healthy. Aside from that, the wall that I showed you guys briefly is keeping the room super warm. I'm literally sweating right now to close up the video I'm going to show you guys what to feed my guppies so inside this bottle is the aquarium co-op fry food mixed with tetra color and then I also have some freeze-dried brine shrimp and freeze-dried tubelix warm all blended mixed up and to this thing went ahead and dumped some in this container, I grab a fresh bottle of water and I normally just add it all the way to the top, let it soak for a bit, and then get feeding. So I go ahead, give it a little stir, get all that food on the bottom all soaked in. And then make sure that I kind of just add it in there and it acts like baby burn shrimp which really gets the fish to uh, eat there's a few female in there I've been trying to keep them all fed up 
eventually all the food will be picked up you just want to make sure you uh, don't feed too much you know blah 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 pretty much this syringe there's some cuppies over here again excuse the mess so we got some baby fry there's a bunch of them in there so I'm gonna give them a whole tube and over here we have the blue dragon I'm gonna start calling them these fancy blue dragon because they got a really unique look to them that is about it I am sweating down here uh, the fish room is finally finally warm and uh, I am waiting for some more tanks to fill up this side and then uh folks I hope you guys enjoyed today's video until next time always keep your sleeves wet and uh comment down below what you guys think of the fish room thanks for staying too if you made it this far until next time have a great day.